Good day guys. I showed you how to make an FMJ for the honeycombs and diamonds. Today I'm going to show you how to bait it up. There are two methods that one could use. One is a dingle dangle. The one that I prefer is doing my own kind of dangle if you want to call it that. I'm going to show you how to bridle rig a mackerel for a honeycomb or a diamond. Very, very simple. What we require, one crochet needle, a piece of number five wire that's doubled, and of course, some hollow core braid. Very simply, the easiest way to do it, take about a handful of braid, just soften up the hollow core braid, stick the wire through the center as you can see we're doing there and we just keep on going until it's about halfway down when it's halfway down we come out like that we open the wire up take the braid through and slide it in to the actual hollow braid now guys ask me what's whatever blows your mind you can use any thickness that you want the only thing that matters basically when you're doing this is that the braid needs to be thick enough so it goes over the R of the hook and the shank of the hook I'll keep that there what I'm going to do is just stick that in pull it all the way down and we'll just slide that out and over There it is there. I'm just going to make the loop a bit easier for me to rig up. Make it a little bit bigger. So the whole piece. And that's about the length that I want it to be. I don't want it any longer than that. So I'm just going to cut that. There is the bridle part of our rig. Grab a mackerel quickly guys. I want to be two seconds. There's our old faithful slimy mackerel. The easiest way to do this bait, and because you want to get a lot of smell out as quickly as possible, is to take him just behind that peck over there. Open it up, and we cut at an angle downwards. Okay, so basically we're getting a whole lot of blood at that angle. I'm just gonna cut off all the pecks, And it works a lot easier if you've got a pair of scissors that you can use just to snip them off with. I'll then just try and trim it down a little bit, exposing as much of the flesh as I can. Perfect aerodynamic bait. Now what I'm going to do is take this part here and from the back, Cut it and just up you go, like that. Exactly the same on this side. But I'm going to do a smaller piece here. So I've got one big, one small piece. Now what I like to do is take either a chocker hammer or my knife, it doesn't really make a difference, and just lightly tap on it. What I'm doing is just softening up the bait to get a bit of smell into the water a lot faster and also the cotton binds into it a lot better. That's it. Very happy with that. I'm now going to take my latex cotton a small piece on the front side over there just get into where I want it to be the position I want it to be in and then bind it up 
One thing about honeycombs, they're not too skittish in diamond skates. They're not too skittish with cotton. So you can put a lot of cotton on your bait. Turn it over. I'm going to take that. Around just past the eye there, like so. And again, put a lot of cotton on it. What this cotton does is as these little particles come off and the little peckers eat it, the cotton contracts onto it and actually pushes more of the blood out of the bait, if I can say that. You can see how it's starting to ooze out already. Just go like that. A little bit more around here. And to finish it off, I'll just do the half hitch around there once or twice. Break it off. That little bit of excess at the back, I'm just going to cut off to make it nice and neat. I'm now going to take my crochet needle and I'm going to go through the hard part of the head. If you can see there, there's actually a diamond part on your slimy mackerel. I'm going to go through there, straight through the center part, like that. I'm going to take my crochet needle and my braid and pull that through, like that. I'm then going to take this and slide that through and pull tight. So you basically can see what's happening already. Now bearing in mind I don't want to have my circle hook too far away from my bait. I actually want to put it about, if I can show you, sitting about there. Okay, so what I've got to do is I've start on the top part and just keep on going through, going through until I get to the distance that I require. Okay guys, so what we do is we basically go through the braid and slide it up like that. Slide it through. And the nice part about this is you can make up five, six of these dangle traces if you want to call it baits beforehand and have them all ready and there we go guys that is the FMJ ready for a honeycomb or diamond and as you can see the, the cotton's actually starting to pull tight now on the bait and all the blood is starting to drop out onto the actual cutting board over here now what a honeycomb does, and this is 9 times out of 10 when I'm fishing for them, that you actually know the honeycomb's there before you get the bite. When you're sitting holding your rod, what you actually feel is you feel like a ding on the rod. That's the only way to explain it. You're, because the braid is so direct, you actually feel like a ding. Hey, what was it? Was it a, a piece of weed? Was it a stick? It actually feels like a stick, if you can call it. Someone hitting on your line with a stick. What it actually is, is the tail of the honeycomb. He comes over it. He doesn't take it the first time. Sometimes they do, but nine times out of ten, you'll actually feel like a ding. The fish will swim around, come back again, and two minutes later, you get that slow, there he goes, there he goes, and you just hold on. Don't hit, hold on. And then once he's actually right down, lean into him and start winding. And you're in for an hour and 45 minutes fight with the 80 kilo honeycomb. But the first indication that you get is actually that little ding. And it's, so, it's amazing when you're standing next to guys and you say to them, Guys, yes, honeycomb, he's on my, he's actually landed on my bait. You feel that ding. So you can prepare yourself. It's a lovely fish to catch. Same as a diamond. A diamond is a lot slower. He'll start pulling you down slowly like that. What happens is he comes over the bait. He feels it, he inhales it, and of course this allows that hook of it, of yours, to do its job. That's the nice part about it. It's soft, it's supple, it can move around, 
in the side of the mouth every single time with that bait. And that's how you catch a honeycomb. Mackerel or a shad, but that's how you catch it. Simple as that, guys.